So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Fridays, a new Dax function every Friday. And in today's Dax Fridays, we're going to talk about applying and counting. So uh, I'll sh I showed you a few Fridays away how to do a row ID uh, on using Dax. And uh, you can see the formula here, I will post the link down below, you can go and check it out. I explain how this is done. And um, this works beautifully as long as there is no blank on the table. So let me introduce a blank so you'll see what happens. I'm going to go here to the source and we're going to copy some values and insert, put it there and uh, close and apply. So we're putting a blank value on supplier. Now you might want the blank value to be counted as a row ID in my case, I didn't want it to. So this is what happens. You can see that the index now starts one for the blank and then continues with the other ones. So if you go to the documentation, I want to check distinct count. It says here, distinct count includes the blank values. Use distinct count non-blank. I said, ooh, great, let's do that. We go in here, distinct count non-blank, no blank, and then press enter and nothing happens. Like, Ooh, what? Okay, so what's going on? So I went actually back to Google, like I always do, and I did a search on this thin count, and then I show myself, this is a video that I made a few a while back, that I said, this thin count is not working. Like, hmm. So I went and checked the video. In around minute 3.37, you can actually see why this thing is not working. And the reason why it's not working that it's not, it doesn't say here, so I might be wrong, but it's not working for me again, is because this thing count no blanks, it does not work for text. It works only for numbers. So how do you do it? How do you do it if you cannot use that? We have to do it the old fashioned way. That means that we have to filter the table that we feel to calculate, that we feel to distinct count non blank, and in a new row where supplier is not blank. And that will do the calculations correctly. Okay, so if it is a number, use distinct count non blank. If it is not, this is the way, basically. <laughs> 